In this video, I will share my understanding of the term outcomes based education in the context of higher education. I am Krishna Sami Selvan, professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, SSN College of Engineering, India. Let's start with a question. Why do students pursue educational programs? Alternatively, why do universities run these programs? Either of these questions obviously leads us to reflect on the purpose of or expectations from an educational program. Of course, one of the possible expectations is that by the time they graduate, the young students should have acquired certain qualities and competencies that not only help them find meaningful employment, but also support them in handling the opportunities and challenges of life. This being a generic statement, it is important that we explicitly define the qualities and competencies so that we can strive to do something about them through the educational program. Now, it is possible for different institutions to have different perspectives on this question of purpose. But since some level of uniformity is desired in defining the purpose, for example, to facilitate uniform quality assessment of institutions within a nation, national accreditation bodies define the expected outcomes for each program. It is logical to expect that such outcomes are in consonance with the purpose of higher education as articulated by the relevant national education policies. India's National Education Policy 2020, for example, states that higher education must aim, among others, to develop good, thoughtful, well-rounded and creative individuals, provide deep level of knowledge and skills in one or more areas of interest, develop intellectual curiosity, scientific temper and spirit of service, enable personal accomplishment and enlightenment, prepare for meaningful and satisfying lives and work roles. Incidentally, such aims are more or less common across nations. Thus, an academic department should lay down a set of learning outcomes that it will strive to work towards for every undergraduate or postgraduate program it offers. By way of emphasizing, these outcomes ought to be consistent with those set out by the national accreditation bodies and thus with the broader national aims for higher education. The primary means available for the department in this endeavor is its curriculum, which ought to be shaped by the outcomes. Of course, curriculum comprises not only courses and syllabi, but the entire academic ecosystem, including teaching and learning methods and student activities and assessments that contribute to the comprehensive educational experience of students. Naturally, each of the components of the curriculum must contribute appropriately towards the overall program learning outcomes. The hope is that when effectively designed and implemented, the curriculum in its totality will help students to develop in accordance with the learning outcomes. I say hope as learning is a complex process taking place in the mind and defies an easy measurement based verification. The education thus becomes purpose or goals driven as it ought to be anyway and may therefore also be called outcomes based education. Is the learning outcomes focus a recent idea? I don't think so. Great teachers and outstanding institutions have always had an unwritten focus on the all round development of their students. But the introduction of the term offers the potential benefit of ensuring that we do not lose focus on the purpose of education in the ever expanding higher education landscape. However, it is extremely important to note that this benefit is contingent upon our not getting lost in the details and missing the broad picture. To sum up, outcomes based education is purpose driven as education must be and therefore has a focus on learning outcomes. My sincere thanks to Simon Howell of Griffith University, Australia for reviewing the text based on which this video has been produced.